while much has been said and written about the newer systems i would like to place on record the performance and efficacy demonstrated by even the older battle proven ad systems like the pechora the osa ak and the lled guns in countering the pakistani threat vectors in the current operations they were all modern generations but these battle proven systems stood the test of time and took them on head on another highlight has been the stellar performance of the indigenous air defense weapon system like the akash system here ladies and gentlemen i would like to mention that putting together an operationalization of this potent ad environment has been possible over the last decade due to unwavering budgetary and policy support provided by the government of india in acquiring state of the art equipment and weapon systems During a press briefing on Operation Sindoor, Indian military officials showcased a rare glimpse into the integrated air command and control system that is the IACCS, which is a cornerstone of India's air defense in infrastructure. A photograph released showed over two dozen Indian Air Force personnel monitoring a large screen that displayed a consolidated real-time operational picture of the nation's airspace. This image represented the high state of readiness maintained by the Indian Air Defence Forces in the face of aerial threats from Pakistan in the preceding week. So let's take a look at the state of the art, expansive and impressive integrated air command and control system aka also known as the IACCS that shielded the country from Pakistan air offensive. Developed by Bharat Electronics Limited, IACCS is a fully automated command and control network that integrates data from a wide range of sources. This includes ground-based and airborne radars, airborne early warning and control systems that is the AEWNC, then of course it has a civil aviation radars and communication nodes. Apart from all of this, it has command and control centers across the Indian Air Force. By fusing inputs from these systems, the IACCS enables seamless coordination and real-time situational awareness across various levels of command. This capability ensures swift clarification, interception of airborne threats such as hostile aircraft, drones, and missiles. The IACCS offers a significant strategic edge by enabling centralized control with decentralized execution. Real-time information flow reduces reaction time, enabling military commanders to take early and informal decisions. The system's overlapping radar and radio coverage enhances airspace management, eliminates blind spots, and prevents redundancy in operations. The Indian Army has developed a similar system known as the Akash Tir, also produced by Bharat Electronics Limited. Designed to monitor low-level airspace over battlefield areas, Akash Tir facilitates the effective control of ground-based air defense weapons. In March 2023, the Ministry of Defense signed off on 1,982 crore rupees contract. for its deployment although currently operating on a smaller scale akash tir is being integrated with the iaccs to ensure seamless coordination between the indian army and the indian air force in joint air defense operations india's air defense operates on four tiered structure combining both static and mobile defense elements It includes a first layer that has counter drone systems and man pads which are basically man portable air defense systems. The second layer consists of point air defense systems and short range surface to air missiles those are the SR SAMs. Then of course is a third layer that has medium range surface to air missiles those are the MR SAMs. 
and lastly the fourth layer that has the long range SAM systems including the S400 and the Barak 8 ER. Supporting this grid are a wide array of modern radar systems, both ground-based and airborne, such as the AWACS and the AEWNC, which feed data into the ACCS network, enabling timely detection, tracking and utilization of threats. In recent years, the Indian Air Force has strengthened its air defense coverage at critical installations by deploying additional surface-to-air guidal weapon that is the SAGW systems and radars all connected to the IACCS. Looking forward, officials have confirmed that the system will continue to evolve by incorporating emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence to enhance threat analysis and response capabilities. As modern conflicts become increasingly multi-domain and technology-intensive, Systems like the IACCS and Akash Tir will play a vital role in securing India's airspace and ensuring the nation's armed forces remain one step ahead of any potential aerial threat.